Let's discuss the maturation and actions of subsets of helper T cells. There are three main classes of T lymphocytes or T cells, including cytotoxic T cells, which directly kill host cells that are infected by microbes, T regulatory cells, which suppress the immune response by inhibiting helper T cells, dendritic cells, and cytotoxic T cells, and helper T cells, which help activate other immune cells like macrophages, dendritic cells, cytotoxic T cells, and B cells. This video focuses on subsets of helper T cells. When a naive helper T cell encounters a presented antigen in peripheral lymphoid tissue, it becomes activated and differentiates into a particular subtype of effector helper T cell determined by the type of cytokine released by the antigen presenting cell. Subtypes of effector helper T cells include T helper 1, T helper 2, and T helper 17. The type of cytokine released from the antigen presenting cell is determined by the type of antigen that activated the naive helper T cell, as well as the type of antigen presenting cell that activated the naive helper T cell. Now activated, these effector helper T cells can then activate other cells to generate a particular immune response. If the antigen presenting cell secretes the cytokine IL-12, the naive helper T cell matures into a T1 helper cell. The helper T1 cell then secretes the cytokine interferon gamma, which activates macrophages and causes B cells to produce IgG antibodies which are important in activating the classical complement pathway and for opsonization of microbes. Helper T1 cells are also the subtype that activate cytotoxic T cells. Helper T1 cells play an important role in immunity against intracellular microbes, including mycobacteria. Overactivation of helper T1 is involved in type 4 hypersensitivity reactions. The cytokine IL-4 released from mast cells causes the naive T cell to mature into a helper T2 cell. The helper T2 cell then secretes IL-4 to stimulate B cells to secrete IgE antibodies, IL-5 to activate eosinophils, and IL-13 to stimulate mucosal epithelial cells to produce mucus. Helper T2 cells are important for immunity against large multicellular pathogens like parasites, including helminths, and are predominant in allergies. Atopic individuals that are prone to allergies have a greater helper T2 to T1 ratio and therefore higher amounts of IgE. Overactivation of helper T2 is involved in type 1 hypersensitivity. With secretion of IL-6 and transforming growth factor beta, the naive T helper cell will mature into a T helper 17, which will produce IL-17, to recruit phagocytic cells like neutrophils and macrophages to tissues that are infected with certain extracellular bacteria and fungi. Helper T17 plays an important role in the defense against extracellular pathogens. Dysregulation of helper T17 is involved with many autoimmune and inflammatory disorders including inflammatory bowel disease, multiple sclerosis, and psoriasis. Now for some questions. If you answered the following, you are correct. And some more questions. If you answered the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.